Hey there, productivity enthusiast. Welcome back to the channel. In my first video, link in the description down below, we saw that Obsidian supports markdown formatting. And I thought it might be helpful making a video about this since you're going to write a lot in Obsidian. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on my content. All right, let's get started. So what is markdown and why should you care? Markdown is a lightweight markup language that's perfect for creating structured, readable, and easily shareable documents. It's the secret sauce that makes Obsidian so powerful. In its simplest form, Markdown lets you add formatting to plain text using symbols. Here, I've splitted the note I created for this video so you can see the editing view with the source mode enabled on the left side and the reading view on the right so you can see how it will be rendered. Let's start from the headings. You can write six different heading levels simply adding the hash sign in front of the word or phrase. One hash for one level. So, heading one, heading two, heading three, heading four, heading five, and heading six. You can make text bold by enclosing it in double asterisk like this or italic by using one single asterisk. And if you want to emphasize text with bold and italics, at the same time, you just need to use three asterisks. You can also create a block quote, and to do that, you just need to add the greater than sign in front of the paragraph. And you can create lists. It's pretty easy. If you want to create an unordered list, add a dash in front of line items. So item one, item two, and you can create a nested list indenting one or more items. Use tab to indent and shift plus tab to unindent. So for example, tab item one nested. And if I press shift plus tab, I can continue with my list. To create in order the list, add numbers followed by periods in front of line items. So one period, first item, second item. And you can nest an unordered list in an ordered list or vice versa. So if I press tab, I can place here an unordered list. And if I press shift tab, I go back and I can continue with my ordered list. Lastly, to create a task list, start each list item with a dash and space followed by square bracket. And you will have a task, task two. And if you put an X inside the square brackets, you will create a completed task. Task completed. Now, as you can see on the right, if you check the box here on the task two, the X will be automatically put inside the square bracket. Now, let's see some more advanced markdown features. You can use double brackets to create bidirectional links between nodes, as you already saw in my first video. So, first note, and you have a link to the first note. And if you add an exclamation mark in front of the double brackets, you can embed a note or file. So, for example, we can embed a file. Here we go. As you can see here on the right. And if you embed an image, you can specify the width after the pipe symbol, like this. Pipe in 300 or 600 and as you can see you can modify the, the width now if you are into coding or technical notes obsidian supports code blocks with syntax highlighting just use three back ticks specify the language for example python and start coding away you can also write inline code by using one back tick And here we go on the right. I just want to end this video with other two markdown features because I also want to show you two useful plugins for external links and tables. If you want to link to an external URL, you can create an inline link with uh, this syntax. Write 
the link text in square brackets. So for example, Google. And then the URL in parentheses. And you have here your link to google.com. Now, there is a useful plugin that can help you to do this, and it's called Paste URL into Section. So let's go to Community Plugins, Browse, Paste URL into Section, Install, Enable. And now, if you write here Google and you select the text and you paste the URL, Control V or Command V, you will see that it will be automatically formatted. Lastly, let's see the syntax to create a table. You can do that using pipe signs and dashes. The pipes separate columns and dashes define the column header. So, for example, pipe header one, pipe header two, pipe enter, pipe dash dash dash, pipe dash dash dash, pipe enter pipe item one, pipe item two, pipe. And as you can see, we've just created our table. The problem is that creating a table like this can be a bit slow and frustrating, honestly, but there is a very good plugin that can help you with your tables and it's called Advanced Table. So let's go here to Community Plugins, Browse, Advanced Table, Install, Enable, and as you can see, this plugin offers you some nice improvements. First of all, it gives you a better view of your tables in your Markdown file. And let's add other two items, item three and item four. And if I want to add a row, I can actually hit enter and it will automatically create a row. But if I want to insert a row, I can just click here and you will insert row. Or if you want to delete row, you just need to hit this command. I mean, it's pretty simple. And the same things um, for the columns. So you can just add one column here, okay? or delete a column. So as you can see, it will be very easy to manage your table with this community plugin. And if you usually use tables, this is for sure a must have plugin, to be honest. And there you have it, folks. Markdown is perfect for Obsidian because it keeps your notes clean and distraction free while allowing for a rich text formatting. Plus it's very versatile and supported by many other apps and platforms. Make sure to follow me on X, Mastodon and Medium. You will find all the links in the description down below. You can also find me on the Paperless Movement community as iCore Expert. And if you want to improve your productivity and PKM, I really suggest you to give a try to the Paperless Movement courses. If you sign up through my iCore Expert webpage, you will get a three day trial. You will find the link in the description down below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow note takers. If you have any questions, just write in the comments below. And of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Obsidian tips, future productivity tools review, and productivity NPKM hacks. See you in the next video. And in the meantime, stay productive.